This is question number 5 of S1 2018 June. This is part B. It says use linear interpolation to estimate the median. We have to find the median. So first let me write the cumulative frequency and find where is the mid value occurs. So we have 9 and 9 plus 12 that is that is 21 plus 11 32 plus 8 40 plus 3 43 plus 3 46 and plus 2 48 this is correct because this one is 48 and we have total 48 members now for the median so what do we have to find out that in which class the median is lying so definitely median is somewhere here not here but median will be here in the weight because median of the weights so median must be somewhere here. so median is is q2 and where it lies so it lies in the mid value so that is 48 over 2 that is 24th value now up to 9 values are here up to 21 values are here so from 21 to 32 is here so median is lying in this class interval so median is in 1.3 this class interval x is greater than 1.3 and less than or equal to 1.5 so median is lying somewhere here but where now let's see how we are going to use a linear interpolation. Now what is a linear interpretation? For example, I have these two x's. And I have, this is the value of one point and this is the value of another point these are the two values for this this is x1 this is x2 in fact this distance is x1 and this distance is x2 and this one is y1 and this is y2 so this point is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 now if I join this line suppose I I join this line now I joined the line which is passing through x1 and x2 so if I take any value of x I can get the corresponding value of y at any point because this is a line, it's a linear and interpolation is, we, we, we can tell the exact value of this. In the same way, we have this. Now let's consider this. We are using this. Now one more thing you must remember that if a line is passing through two points and the slope is not given, it equation is the equation of a line passing through two points is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 x minus x1 if you are good in a trigonometry you must know about this thing the line passing through this point now in this point if i want to calculate any point here 
and if I know this if x is y 5 then just by putting this x 5 I can calculate the value of y that is interpolation to tell the values if one x is given you can calculate the y now same we are going to use it here and this is a, a quite easy suppose this is our let's say this is our y now we have this is 1.3 and 1.5 say this one is 1.3 and this is 1.5 so our median is lying somewhere in between now at this one the frequency is 21 and 1.5 the frequency is 32 and our median is 24th value so we know that 24th is not near 32 so 24th is roughly say here this is 24th so what is this value it is that simple so what is the y value here so let's say this is x1 this is y1, this is x2, this is y2, and this is y, no, these are the y, 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 let's have, because we put the formula in a way that we have to calculate y value, so this is x1, this is y1, this is x2 this is y2 this one is x and this one is y now i'm going to use this formula so what the formula is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divide by x2 minus x1 sorry I have to write the value x2 minus x1 bracket x we have given here 24 minus x1 So y minus 1.3 is equal to one point five minus one point three is zero point two over thirty two minus twenty one is thirty twenty two minus thirty two is eleven and this is multiplied by 23 so y is equal to this value plus this so it is 1.354 so y is equal to 1.36 up to 3 significant figure so that's how easy it is to get any value using linear interpolation make sure this is the one formula you can apply instead of getting confused the only thing is here is x1 y1 values are there this is this is a x1 y1 this is 21 this is 1.3 this is 32 and this is 1.5 there's a line here now at 24 what value will be here so 1.36 so that's how it's called a linear interpolation thank you very much for watching